Just let me get my smoke machine going. Blast. Now listen, you lot. <laughs> I've called you people of power and influence together to tell you that age can affect anyone, not just minority groups. You've got to set an example. I know most of you are stuck up in Canberra and you hardly get to see your wives, but from now on, we want to see a bit more plain old-fashioned fidelity. Any comment? <laughs> Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State George Shultz visits Moscow. <laughs> Shultz is ringing Mr. Reagan. Hello, Shultzy. How are you going? Have you got the bugs ironed out in the embassy there yet? You have? Good man. Well. So what are you ringing me for? You want them to bring you a beer. The room service is bad. Always is. <laughs> Schultze? Thank you. You got your beer. Okay. See you. Schultze's got them licked. I think. Uh, uh, ow! There goes another newsreader, Bob. I'll be quite candid if I may, Paul. The situation vis our new media policy is not good. Everyone's kicking up at these network sackings. Don't worry about it, Bob. I've had a word to the sack workers. So you pointed out the long-term benefits of having three people controlling uh, virtually the whole media in the country. Oh, no, I told them not to worry, that when Labor gets in, all this monopoly rubbish will be fixed up. Uh, Paul, we are the Labor Party. Oh, I wish you'd told me sooner, Bob. Good evening. Coffee shares have risen sharply on stock exchanges in the week since the launch of the government's AIDS commercial. Spokesmen for the industry say that couples are not only inviting each other back to their places for coffee, they're actually drinking it. Good news, sire. Andrew Hay and John Elliott want to stand for the Liberal Party. Great news. They're the sort of men I want in my party. They're about rugged free enterprise. They're about to open rugged free competition. They're rugged men that can stand on their own two rugged feet. Actually, sir, they do want to guarantee that you'll give them the safest Liberal seat in Australia. A position on the front bench, a car, director's fees, company shares, car telephone, leadership promise, school fees paid and access to the jacuzzi and bar facilities. Yeah, yeah, that's a bit rugged, isn't it? Excuse me, I'm from Age International Incorporated. We'd like to sponsor you and the car racing and the tennis and the ballet. Oh, hang on. You don't kill nearly as many people as cigarettes. I'll stick with me present sponsor, thank you. I love fishing in the South Pacific. Don't worry, I'll catch something soon. Uh, can't you see the sign, pal? Yeah, can't you see the sign, pal? Well, what's he doing here, then? Read the small print, pal. Yeah, read the small print, pal. I'm only here because uh, he's here. No, I am only here because you're here. Well... What's he doing here? I'm only here to test my equipment. Le bombe. Très bon. Magnifique nord. Later, we do some scuba diving. I object strongly. You want to sell your butter in France? I object slightly. Well, I object strongly, and I won't take it back. You want to sell your uranium in France? 
bill. Tell him I object uh, slightly. The water seems a bit muddied for fishing, Bob. Uh, let's just go back to Canberra and see if we can catch a few headlines. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.